Let's do a fun fall spread in my Passion Planner Daily. Hello everyone, it's Alana. I'm so glad you guys came to hang out with me today. We are going to be doing a super cute, fun fall spread in my Passion Planner Daily. It's been a minute since we've just hung out and decorated a spread in my Daily Planner. Lately, I have been doing the tips and tricks and how to get the most out of your Daily Planner and all that good stuff, but I thought today, especially today, it's raining and dark and dreary and I just feel in the mood to play with stuff stickers and be cozy. So I thought we could just hang out and decorate it up. But also I thought maybe there could still be a little bit of a helpful element to this video. In the past, some of y'all have expressed to me that while you love the daily planner, you also feel like you would miss decorating a weekly or you love doing themes in your weekly spread, that kind of thing. Um, and then also maybe some people are new to daily planning and are just looking for ideas. I thought I could smush those two things together and share with you guys today how you can make an entire theme using tons of cute stickers in a passion planner daily spread. This is even a small nonetheless, and you can still see how I'm going to decorate it, stick to my theme, make it look super cute, and still have plenty of space. In the spirit of the season, or at least very nearly the season, if you work in retail, it's been the season for six weeks. <laughs> in the spirit of almost fall, we are going to do an apple orchard spread. You guys, these wrong wrong stickers from last fall are so cute. They're so adorable. I love these girls so much. I've been hoarding a couple of these. This apple orchard one is so dang cute. I could never be that fashionable and pick an apple, but <laughs> nevertheless, they're adorable. Um, I'm going to go off of the inspiration of this sticker and create an entire apple orchard theme spread. We're gonna start up at the top. Um, sometimes I leave where it says space of infinite possibilities. More times I white it out, it all depends. I love this space so much, but for this, video, this spread in particular, we're going to go ahead and white all of this out. Oh my gosh, Alana, learn to go in a straight line. Um, I'm going to white it all out because I'm going to put some washi tape and some decorative elements up at the top here. Now, if I'm using a darker washi, like a black grid washi or something like that, I'm not going to bother whiting it out. But because I decided I wanted to use this more see-through, thinner, washy, I went ahead and did the white out. So I'm gonna do the washy, just like that. And then I'm gonna get this banner sticker out of the Recollections Fall sticker pack. I don't know if there are banners when you walk into an apple orchard. I'm gonna pretend that there are. I'm gonna pretend it's this big huge deal <laughs> um i've never actually been apple picking have you <gasps> i just made it <laughs> a lot more traumatic oh my gosh um okay yeah so i've never actually been apple picking i have been to pumpkin patches hay rides at farms <laughs> that, oh my gosh, you guys, that do apple picking, but I've never actually been. What in the world? Uh, Alana. Okay. And then I just made it like super lopsided. Uh, okay. Oh, it's not actually me, you guys. So there's no white border where it starts out, but then it develops a white border as it goes along on the sticker. Dang it, that is not cute. Um, oh well, I'm just gonna leave it. We're off to a great start. Um, I'm gonna use the banner portion that I trimmed off over here under today's focus because there's still enough room to write in the rest of the box. All right, and then for the actual apple picking sticker, I think I wanna put some leaves behind it. Or, oh, 
like kind of like over the top. So like that and hmm. I'm running out of leaf stickers real fast, you guys. Uh Maybe I'll do this one behind. Just like that. Now I'm nervous. I think I'm going to rip something else. So I'm going to put it down in this corner. Just like this. That's really fun. Really, really cute. Okay, and now I'm thinking I either want to do this farm sticker or the apple basket sticker over in my free space to grow. Um... I kind of like the idea of the farm. Um, tentatively. We'll see. I'm undecided on that still. Okay, so back to the actual apple orchard conversation. Um, yeah, we've never actually been apple picking Although I have thought about it pretty much every single year since we've had kiddos, it just, I don't know, we don't, I don't do uh, like canning or jams and jellies and apple cider and that kind of thing. I do a lot of baking in the fall, but it, if it does include apples, it's usually just a couple. So I don't feel the need to get like a whole bunch of apples. Um, but we do like to go to hay rides and, and um, farms and things like that during the fall. But let me know if you've been and what you love about it. Also, do you like apple cider? I'm not an apple cider person. It feels wrong. <laughs> I like apple juice and if I drink hot apple cider, I'm like, this is not right. Um, okay, so I did an adventure quote up at the top there. Still undecided on the farm. It's really cute, but I also like the basket. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to do another sticker over here with some decorative to balance it out. So I grabbed this grid sticker. It's going to kind of disappear on the page, but not too bad. But I am going to pull out, I know there's some Apple theme stickers in my favorite sticker pack of all time. You guys, I know I gush about it every single, every single plan with me, but it's amazing. I always link it. Um, okay, so yeah, there's harvest season. There's apples. There's like apple jelly. Ooh, apple pie. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. That's, yeah. Oh, right. So it looks like this page is it for apples. I do like that tree branch sticker as well. I should have done that one with my adventure instead. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to bring this one back out. We're going to figure out where it's going to go. But I'm going to do this like this. And I think I want to do the harvest season sticker like this this tilted and do I want to do the apple jelly or I think the pie might be too big but I can still do the pie over on the other side I think yeah I think we'll go like this and like this Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so now taking a look at it as it's coming together, I think I do want the farm because this is so bright. I want some bright over here. I think what's bothering me and making me hesitant about this sticker is the round bottom. So I think I'm just going to trim it just a little bit just to kind of square off the end so that it lines up with my line. And then I think I'll feel better about it. There we go. 
subtle difference, but it sure does make me feel better. Um, okay. So now I think I want to just add some washi, um, for decorative over on this side. And no, I thought because of the green that this one would look cute, but it doesn't. So what I might do is some more of this just like this and down here like this and then some red polka dot to match my apples. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I like that a lot. Oh no! Shoot. I did that one a little bit short. All fixed up. Okay, you guys see how this is coming together? It's super cute and it's so easy to stick with the theme even though it's a daily planner. I almost said just. It's not just a daily planner. It is an amazing daily planner, the best. <laughs> um, so little apple basket or crate on this side. I still think I want to find a spot to put that pie. Oh, and my branch sticker. I decided I'm going to cover up work and just make this like a, a whole cohesive thing for goals and just put the little tree branch right there because it's so cute. And let's see the pie. I think I want to put it like all the way down here because this is kind of like the end result of going to the apple orchard. <laughs> all right. And then I think just for the sake of tying it together, not necessarily to cover up these words, I'm going to bring some washi over to this side just so that it matches. Okay, you guys. So when this plan with me goes up, there should already be a survey on my community page here on my channel because I am planning out the rest of my fall and winter content and I regularly get requests to share things like my writing or homeschool or mom life or how I plan for the holidays, how I just kind of take care of our household, that sort of thing. So I thought I would leave it not up to you guys because I'm you know if something strikes my fancy and I feel like filming the content then I'm gonna go ahead and do it as long as it's not like super left field like here's a review of a porcelain doll that's not gonna happen those are freaky um but you know you know what I mean it's gonna it's going to be it's gonna make sense for my channel is what I'm saying I cannot freaking get this I just value y'all's opinion and it's nice to know what people are interested in seeing. So if you want to pop over to my community page and take that survey and have your input in what kind of content comes to my channel in the fall and the beginnings of winter. I'm still thinking about and there's plenty of time. Well, I say there's plenty of time, but it's going to be here fast, but I'm considering what fun thing I can do with you guys for Christmas. I really enjoyed when we did that advent, but it's a lot, you guys. It's a lot to film a video every single day during the holidays, especially since I I tend to plan a ton of activities to do with my family. Um, do I want this on here? Um, but I definitely want to do something. So if you guys have any requests or ideas for that, you can totally leave that. Um, in the comments here or over on the survey as well. Also, I think um, when this goes up, Passion Planner will still be doing their 
fall flash sale so that's going to be down in my description as well if you guys want to check that out they ha always have some really great deals going on during their flash sales um i think we're getting close to done you guys i'm really happy with this so finishing touches just a couple of apples and i think an apple cider in recognition of those who actually do enjoy one <laughs> and she's done y'all you see this is so much fun such a cute theme i really enjoyed it i love how it all came together and there's still all of this space for me to plan out my day let me know what you guys think though i'm looking forward to catching up with you down in the comments below like i said don't forget to take that survey if you feel so inclined and you can check out all of these passion planner goodies as well at the links below but that is all for this one i will see you in my next one tell your dog i said hi bye guys